Hello and welcome to this sound design video. Uh, I'm Bjorn Jacobson and this is my Cujo Sound White Noise Trash um, video game audio design uh, channel here on YouTube. And today I'll be talking a little bit about a really new, really new cool tool that I've got my hands on from Crotos called Reformer. Um, it's a very simple tool and yet extremely complex. Um, what it does is that it basically takes your input of a microphone or whatever file you're putting it through and then it takes that and makes it become or has it morph between the various samples that are in their library. Um, and that's going to be really awesome for future cinematic work and so on. Um, the tool looks like this um, and basically you can't do anything. Um, apart from changing the playback speed and the dry wet sounds. Um, and I'll be getting back to that. Uh, it's a really awesome tool because I can talk into my microphone and it will just come out as a black leopard, which is really awesome. Um, I'll give you a brief example here. You get the point, um, which is really cool. The Crotos Reformer comes with a standard library called the Black Leopard to begin with. That's the free one that you can use, um, which is really awesome. Uh, but it does, of course, have its limitations. If you want to do robots or something like that, then um, the Black Leopard isn't going to cut it. But you can buy you can buy tons of libraries, which is really awesome, as you can see in here. I have a couple that you can just switch between. Um, there's a different tiger here that we can load, that we can see how it sounds whenever we, when it's ready. There we go. It does a lot of cool things, really cool stuff. Right now, you cannot make your own library, which is a bit of a limitation, but uh, Crotas has mentioned that you can you can write to them and have them create custom libraries for you in case you have a lot of files that you want to put into a library. Um, or it'll probably be a future future feature that they're going to put in, which is why I think this tool is really awesome to get to know already, because when that becomes possible, this becomes an extremely useful tool. Um, so what I've been doing with this is that I've been playing around with the Bengal tiger with the black leopard and some of the other ones and created a lot of sounds, but it's not, it's not because I want to create a black leopard or a tiger. I want to put tons of effects on these and you have, have sort of like use it as a, as a platform that just spawns material that I can run through lots of effects and so on and create other things with. Um, and in my case, I've, um, I, I have a couple of friends at at, um, at Crotos and I've been talking to them before. So I've been able to to create a couple of custom libraries and work a little bit with them. And we've been in touch regarding some of them. So that means that 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 I have some really crazy material that come that came out of this, which I'll show you. And it'll it'll show you what the future of Reformer is going to be like. And it's really, really hot. So. Uh, recently I went away on vacation. I went with the family to Malta and what we did was that, or that what we usually do when we're on vacation is that I, I bring my recorder and the family hates me for that because that means that sometimes they need to be quiet or I can't go places because I need to record stuff and so on. And that's, that's just something that people need to deal with, you know? I bring my recorder and I just record stuff. <laughs> um, it's not like that. It's it's a joke, of course, but I ended up in Malta getting a lot of cool sounds. Um, it's my recording library, and over the years I've collected a lot of recordings, but this Malta time, this time in Malta, the plan was very much so to make sure that I would get some recordings of chameleons and stuff going on down there because I want for Crotos Reformer to create a some sort of chameleon or dragonfly or cats, something like that, library, um, maybe for myself, maybe commercially, who knows. Um, that's, that's something to be planned in the future with Crotos. But, um, so Malta, 
what I did was that I have here tree rustle. Um, yeah. I can see what I'm doing. Tree rustle. I know there's these are raw recordings and there's a bunch of water splashing, but then the, the fun part comes here. When all these weird clicks come. Strange recordings of strange things. Now I filtered these so that they so that we can we can hear them. But the chameleon. A chameleon is a very, very aggressive, tiny little thing. Um, not that I've been provoking it or doing bad stuff to it, but it quite easily gets angry and makes a really awesome hiss sound. I found out last time I was in Malta, um, and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> And you can hear that there are people dining in the background, so I had, I had to spend a lot of time cleaning up these recordings um, by removing hums and tones and people talking, um, cutlery, because this is recorded in the middle of the day just after breakfast, because that was when the moment was there. Um, <laughs> clicks from the microphone, those are always fun. There's a bunch of cats that we recorded. And then one of them tried to grab the microphone, which created some really awesome clicks. And then we were so lucky that a dragonfly flew into our house and got stuck behind a glass, glass door flapping with its wings, hitting the door, uh, which made, unfortunately, it, it only stayed there for about two or three cycles of flapping with its wings, um, and then it flew away. It should have stayed there forever, so I could have recorded it, but it, it ended up like this. And I wanted to create a library of this dragonfly and the chameleon, um, which I'll show you now. Okay, so here is my chameleon recordings, both chameleons and the dragonfly, and they're kind of manipulated, but I've put them all together. Um, and they sort of meant to create different vibes so that you can, with Reformer, be subtle and it'll just sound like wing flapping or breathing and if you go nuts then it'll be really aggressive check this out um made some really really gnarly gnarly stuff here um Okay, so these are all variations of the dragonfly and the chameleon put together. Um, they make a really awesome library, hopefully one day. <clears throat> also separated the dragonfly and the chameleon, um, which means that that in the end, you sh like when this library gets done, uh, either as a custom library or a commercial one, uh, you should be able to just talk into your microphone. It'll come out 
as the chameleon breathing. How cool is that? I mean, if you were to do that yourself, it would take quite a lot of work. It may be super simple to create the assets and put them into whatever sample contact sampler or whatever you have, but it would take an immense amount of time, probably also be impossible to actually do, to make sure that the input into the microphone or whatever input you're using to measure peaks, transients, other things, and make sure that that is converted into the right information that you can then use to trigger the right samples, play them at the right time, making sure they sound like the right thing. That would take ages. So this is a really awesome tool when it comes to just doing small stuff. Um, and I'll go back to showing you how um, Reformer works with the other libraries, and I'll show you how Reformer works on a normal basis, and I'll then get into how I created a lot of, of cool stuff for it and some of the libraries that I've been working on, some of the sounds and materials that, that, um, that I've been able to put through it with a lot of effects and the sounds that actually came out of that. I'll show you. All right, so here we have just some noises that are recorded. It's basically just me screaming. Um, and it runs through, let's see here, it just runs through your former and a small compressor, and it's the Black Leopard. Uh, as you can see, it goes here, and if we press, press play on this, As you can already hear, then, then this part here, this is just me saying uh, into the microphone. And that may be super simple and unwanted in regards to making a black leopard, but already here it becomes really interesting because you can make lots of stutter by adding stutter, meaning that whenever you want to hum something, you can just do that and it'll, it'll just make it sound like that. Check this out. We can crank up the volume a little bit here. even lower the pitch here and then this part here so this so basically this as a controller for something else would be really awesome switch off the delay, the reverb here. If we turn up the volume. And that's still just the Black Leopard. Um, <clears throat> It's really cool. It's really awesome. This is some of the sounds that, that comes out of this. Of course, it requires that you have some amount of imagination in regards to what you put into it. Um, uh, but that's that's the Black Leopard. Let's try and replacing this library with something else and let's put it, still put it through all the effects and let's see what comes out of it. Um, let's try police. Polystyrene? I don't even know how to say that. It's some sort of plastic. Let's try it. Uh, yeah, so this, this already here, um, if we just use a little bit of this here, just this tiny part here.
already here, you can tell that by not very much manipulation, you can make this pretty awesome. What I did in previously was that I would have a send instead of having the reformer as an insert on my audio track, I would have the reformer on a send track that I would then just spam uh, like some sort of tremolo, like very speedy volume, volume fader up and down thing to it, which would make it sound quite cool. Um, I'll give you an example here. Um, as an example here. And that's still the poly, poly, polystyrene. I don't even know what material that is. Um, let's try, let's try the bang, the, the Bengal tiger here and let's have it run through all these. So it runs through a lot. The sound itself, it has a lot of effects on it and, um, the, the send that it's sending to also has a lot of effects on it. The, yeah, the, this one, the, uh, the send is using if you switch off the reformer here and then try Oh wait, that's because it's switched off. Let's try this here. If we turn, it, if we turn on the the uh, reformer on the send track again and have the black leopard run through it, it will just sound like the black leopard, which is unwanted. Um, and we don't want that. We want, don't want the black leopard in there in the end. So if we put the reformer over here, I, that's way cool. Way cool. This part here only. Let's try this one here. Um, get rid of these. Then this is actually a sample from one of my favorite bands called Igor. It's a track called Opus Brain. Uh, I just sampled that simply because that it had a really cool fluctuating sound that I wanted to try out before I created my own. It was easier to just grab that one than to make my own to begin with. change the, the playback speed of this, we can make it go like this. And this other reformer over here, we can alter these playback speeds all together so that they are combined. Let's try and see the difference uh, here. Um. So if we add a little bit of fluctuation here to the send level, uh, we can try that. And then we can also try and, and alter the volume of the actual send track. I'll show you. Let's add a little bit of weird fluctuation stuff here.
so down here on the send track. We'll alter these, take them down a little bit. So let's even try and add my structure. Actually, we should add this to the other side of the thing. Get rid of this Mr. Liquid thing here. Here we go. Really cool stuff. Lots of cool stuff that you can use for this. Um, I've been working on a bunch of couple of custom libraries that I'm going to talk to Crotus about. Um, and I'll show you some of the results that I came up with with this. I'm trying to create other things than, than just Foley items. Uh, trying to be really musical about this. Um, and have a look. All right. So here we have WaveLab. Um, one of the one of the really old versions of WaveLab, the reasons why I just haven't bought a later version. Um, and at IO Interactive, when I was working there, we actually had later versions of this, but actually one of the things that bothered me the most about modern versions of WaveLab is that they removed my favorite shortcut key, which is uh, um, zoom out fully. Like if you zoom in here, then Previously, you could press J and it would zoom all the way out. That it that doesn't work any longer. Now it only you can only zoom selection. I haven't been able to in the shortcut section to find out fully zoom out and then be able to add J as my button again. So now in the modern the newer versions of it, when you're like if you're like this, you want to zoom all the way out. It's not really a hassle, but you, then you have to select all and press K to zoom for selection, uh, which still works. Funny enough. Um, that's that's all oh, it really bothers me about how wave lab works um but let's that's a different story that's my rant about steinberg products i love steinberg and i'm not really going away from steinberg products it's just there's so many things bothering me about it but i guess that's maybe because i've been using them for so many years and i'm so familiar with them that it bothers me when they change stuff um it's like it's like they're changing my 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 personal property it really hurts when they do that, you know? Anyway, I've been working on a library um, and how Reformer works, how things are put together and all that, that's a different thing. And that's not something that, that everyone should be fiddling around with and it's not possible to do it. So 
So it's only if you send stuff to Crotas and talk to them about it that this is possible. But the results that came out of this, I can show you. Um, just putting a bunch of stuff together, lots of effects, so on. Uh, but these are some of the simple, more simple sound designs that, that came out of out of uh, using Reformer, the same method, method as, as I showed before, like send, uh, have, having one channel, maybe with the Bengal Tiger, maybe with some custom stuff that I, that from, from the library that I also showed, and then put it all together, lots of effects, uh, maybe have it control a little synthesizer or something like that with an input. And this is the end result. And I'm gonna mute my microphone because this is really loud. Okay, so uh, I've also been fiddling around with these about in a different way. I had them send through some of my external gear over here. I have this analog studio electronics synthesizer here, which can be, you can just basically mute its own oscillators and then have its filter do the thing for you whenever you, if you send something to an ex, to its external input. Uh, through everything goes through my patch bay here, back and forth into a couple of, um, couple of, um, couple of, of effects that I have here, this, this uh, quadruple effect, the Insonic PP4 and the Laser's MIDI verb here, and I have a small vocoder as well, which I send between stuff. So in that way, you can also make really cool stuff uh, by sending stuff. Let's see here, I have the MIDI track here, some stuff, some sounds that I already had that I'm putting into it, uh, and it comes out like this. Also using Reformer to create little bits and bops about here, uh, also as send tracks. Check it out. This is some of my pre-made recordings here. Yeah, so lots of cool stuff to do with, with Reformer. And the, the Black Leopard that comes with it is really awesome, especially if you're into more creative work by using effects and doing lots of things like that. Um, and it's also really useful for other things like there are the other libraries um, and I'll show you some of those. All right, so here we have uh, Reformer again, this blank project here where you can just um, put stuff into the microphone and have it come out as the Black Leopard. Um, Let's try some of the other some of the other libraries, and I'll show you what they can do. Some of them are not made for continuous noise like this, like the Black Leopard is. Um, but let's let's go for let's say the the vegetables here, the wet the wedgie squash. Um, the cool thing about this one, I'll show you.
what I'm saying into the microphone is completely irrelevant, actually. Don't, don't overthink it. Like I said, plenty of use for this. I'm gonna turn down the volume so that things aren't as bad. Uh, plenty of use, plenty of things that you can do with these, uh, both for Foley, both for recordings, um, both for do, when you do cinematics for easy, for easy stuff. I can imagine some sort of footstep system or some sort of gun system or similar would be really, really awesome to have in here. The extra cool part about this is that when you buy these reformer libraries, what you're buying is not only the reformer library, you also buy the actual samples from whatever library or for, from ever who provided them to them, uh, which makes it extra awesome because it's not like you, you're super limited to be only able to use them in reformer. You also get the raw files. So the Bengal tiger or the black leopard, you get the raw material so that you can edit them and squish them up however you like. You cannot, you cannot put them back into reformer. Um, but, but you, you still own the samples, meaning that when you, if you buy the reformer version of the gun Foley, then you can use reformer to do the Foley for you whenever you want to, but you can also edit the gun Foley yourself if you want to use the raw material in your, in your project. And that's really, really awesome. Um, I'm definitely going to be fooling around with this and create some more really weird stuff and look out for the libraries that I'll be creating. Hopefully some of them will be made commercially available so that you can get them and you can buy them so that I can make some money off this so that I can actually make a living because that's a really hard thing to do these days. Okay. Okay. Good. That's it for today, everybody. Uh, really awesome to do this, um, this thing. And yeah, reformer, I really, really enjoy it. You need to get a little bit used to it because some of, um, some of the libraries you can only do are sort of like, it would be really cool if I had a snare drum that I could hit that I would hit that would have some sort of natural, natural, um, sustain and release to it so that I can sort of have things ring out a little bit, especially with a glass smash or something like that. But it's really cool now that I am probably going to make some sort of tool that can just make noise in any way when I bend it so that I can just do use that tool to create leather, glass, stress, whatever I want. It's going to be really awesome um, to fool around with this. So go grab Reformer. It's free and you just get the libraries that you need if you want to or just do like I do. Use the Black Leopard and go nuts on effects and there's tons of free VSTs out there that can make everything sound like a billion dollars, right? Have fun.